I am a tea taster and blender and I spend a lot of my time trying to produce the perfect blend. But why do I bother? Why do we blend teas at all? Why not just leave them as nature intended them, as the skill of the factory manager uh, intended them? The answer is that sometimes we want to appreciate that tea is a variable product that, like wine, it varies with uh, the land it was produced on, with the weather that has been experienced, with the quality of the pluck, um, etc. But more often than not, we want our tea to taste the same. When you go into the supermarket and buy your favourite blend, you want it always to taste the same. If you run a cafe and you become known for your tea, you want it always to taste the same. Sometimes the tea I buy is fantastic, sometimes it's not possible to buy the same quality and we need to try and average out those inconsistencies and produce a single named blend that people can always enjoy. That's not to say that we shouldn't also sell teas on their own as what they are. Uh, I, for example, often sell tea from the Holyrood estate in Sri Lanka, which is a favourite of mine. And we do that too. But generally speaking, we want to blend teas to smooth out the variations and produce one standard blend that people, be that consumers or cafes or whatever, can rely upon for doing the job that it's supposed to do. Portsmouth tea, for example, Hampshire tea, you know, my two main blends. People know what they taste like and they want them always to taste the same. Now that's easier said than done and it involves tasting hundreds of different teas buying some of them and then tasting them again and blending them in varying proportions always to produce the same result. It's like the number game on the countdown show with, uh, with Carol Vorderman. You know the number that you want to end up with but what goes into it changes and you have to try and combine those numbers correctly to produce the right result. The real challenge is that we don't always know the result either. When we're developing a new blend, we don't always know what we want to end up with. So we end up with two unknowns and it's a very interesting game and that's what I spend quite a large part of my time doing.